In this section, we'll talk about Arrow Library. We'll do a small overview of the Arrow Library and go and check in deep some of the monads provided by this library, including ID, Option, Either, Try, Eval, AO, Async, and Reader Monad. Arrow Library. In this video, we'll see what is Arrow Library and what modules it contains, and how these modules could help us to build the better functional apps. So, what is Arrow Library? This is the most popular set of functional programming concept implementations on Kotlin. This library, it's union of libraries called category and functionale. This library is heavily influenced by Scala's library called cats and includes a lot of different monads and function composition primitives that we discussed previously. Let's take a look on this library. You could find this library in GitHub by searching arrowkt slash arrow. This repository contains the latest version of the library and also a lot of different documentation, including Gradle dependencies. Dependencies a bit complex because some of the parts of this library includes annotation processing. We will not touch annotation processing for now, but you could go to this GitHub account and check by yourself. Now, let's take a look at arrow-kt.io website. This is the official site of the Arrow library. Here, you could find all the documentation about this library and also blog posts and video presentation about Arrow and category, as well as project and code examples that use category and Arrow libraries. Now, let's quickly go through documentation on this website. Here in Patterns section, you could find all the functional programming patterns that used in this library and the short documentation about how to use it and why you should use it. After Patterns, you could find documentation about data types, mostly monads like Option, Either, Try, and many more. Type classes that provides additional functionality on your existing classes. Effects such as IO and async that we will talk later. Optics that provide convenient ways of modifying nested immutable data as well as analyzing it. Also, this library supports integrations with RxJava2 and Kotlin coroutines that we discussed in the previous videos.